Hello guys, as promised, I'm going to do a video of my book shopping spree in Islamabad. So the first bookshop which I visited in Islamabad was in the Centaurus Mall in F8. It was on the third floor of the Centaurus Mall, but I have completely forgotten its name. It was something bookshop. Anyways, it was a small two-story shop and the first floor was dedicated to YA fiction and classics. As you can see, the classics are the lower shelf right there. There were a lot of popular fantasy books and books for children. This bookshop also had a lot of stationery and drawing books for children. One corner of the bookshop was dedicated to non-fiction like how to be a boss and books by politicians from Pakistan. There was a cute little staircase which took you to the second floor of the bookshop. The second floor of the bookshop had a lot of stationery. There were pens, pencils and notepads, lots of different types of paper and birthday decor. I did not end up buying any book from this bookshop because they had a very small collection of classics but I did help my sister in buying books for her children because this shop had a lot of children's books and they were beautifully illustrated editions. The second bookshop which I visited was also in the Centaurus Mall and it was the Oxford University Press. It was their outlet which had a rich collection of English literature and Urdu literature. They also had a very comfortable seating place if you wanted to give something a read. The Oxford University Press had a very unique collection of books. I was interested to see cognitive neuroscience because it was something related to my field. There were also books about politics, Islamic history, banking, medical law and a lot of interesting subjects which I never even thought about. One entire shelf was dedicated to Shakespeare which I found fascinating. Now the Oxford University Press was established in Pakistan in 1952 and it is a department of the University of Oxford. It furthers the university's objective of excellence in research, scholarship and education by publishing worldwide. So the Oxford University Press Pakistan's publishing operation falls into four categories. There are school textbooks, higher education books, academic and general reference book. I remember as a kid, we used to have Oxford University Press books for school curriculum and for languages like English and Urdu. Now this bookshop also had a cute staircase which led up to the second floor of the bookshop. Now the second floor of the bookshop had a cute sitting arrangement so that you can sit and read and this is pretty awesome because while your family is shopping in the mall you can just come here and relax and enjoy books even if you're not going to end up buying any again i did not end up buying any books from this bookshop because they did not have any classics other than shakespeare their literature section had a lot of urdu books and they were fiction, short stories, poetry, and there were also a lot of translated books. So I think I'm going to sit and go through their website and see if I want to read any of the Urdu books because I want to see if I'm interested in any Urdu literature. They have a pretty cool website and you can buy books online as well. So I'm going to do that because I was in a rush when we visited this bookshop. My sister was basically standing downstairs waiting for me to stop browsing and move on. So the next book related place which I visited in Islamabad was actually a library in the Islamabad club and they had a library sale going on. I wish I could spend hours in that library. But I was unfortunately with my friends, we were there at the Islamabad club for lunch. I basically ditched them for a few minutes to go visit the library and I had such an awesome time browsing quickly through the books. 
The book collection in this library was very unique. They also had a lot of magazines for sale. In order to get books from the library, you had to be a member. I am not a member of the Islamabad club, so I could not get any books. I could have bought the books from the library sale, but I did not end up doing that either. Now, the Islamabad club also had an outlet for the National Book Foundation Pakistan. Now, the National Book Foundation was established in 1972 and it is an educational welfare organization which is created through an act of parliament in order to make books available at moderate prices. I have a membership card for the National Book Foundation which I need to renew because it has to be renewed every year. The National Book Foundation Pakistan has its head office in Islamabad and it has a regional office in Peshawar which is the city where I live. In one of my previous vlogs I have visited the National Book Foundation regional office in Peshawar which is in Hayatabad. And I love visiting this bookshop because you can basically ask them for any book and they will get it for you at half the price. Now this particular outlet of National Book Foundation had a couple of classics like Love in the Time of Cholera and of Green Gables. I also saw a copy of Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and I was pretty excited to see this hardcover because I don't mind reading John Green now and then. The next bookshop which I visited was in F7 Marcus which is Jana Supermarket and I think it was called Naveed Bookshop if I'm not wrong. I think I ended up buying When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi from this bookshop. I visited it with one of my friends and we took a lot of pictures for Instagram and they came out amazing. Now this bookshop also did not have a lot of classics but it did have a lot of fiction and I was amazed at their collection because they had some very unique and very different kinds of fictional books. I want to get a copy of Exit West by Mohsen Hamid but I do not want the UK edition which is beige in color. I want the USA edition which is purple and colorful but they do not have that one in Pakistan. For some reason we get the UK editions and I don't want that. I saw a beautiful copy of The Great Gatsby but I already have a copy so I did not buy this one. This day I bought 12 books and 10 of them were classics. I got them from a second-hand bookshop which I visited after we visited this shop. The name of that bookshop was Old Books Collection and I had my eye on that bookshop for so long because whenever we visit Islamabad, we usually do not have time or the luxury to spend hours in bookshops. but. I spent this entire day dedicated to books. I think I spent three hours in this one bookshop because it had amazing books and it was stuffed with books. I was just look at this place. It is full of old books and they were at such amazing prices. Old books collection in the Jannah supermarket is run by the wife of Malik Ijaz who has decided to keep the business alive after the death of her husband. So I decided to get classics basically including Oxford classics and Penguin popular classics. Oh my god I cannot believe I bought so many books on such good price. I went to a second hand bookstore and I think I just spent more than an hour going through all the books and my hands are so muddy because uh, not muddy just dusty because of all the dust covered books but I love that place. The next bookshop which I visited in Islamabad was Said Book Bank in F7. Now they usually have a very good collection of classics but recently they did not have any and I talked to them about it. I asked them to please add some classics to their collection and I was so happy that they did. They had so many signet classics and I recently saw a post on Bouquet which is a Facebook page that they have also added a lot of Wordsworth classics to their collection and it makes me very very happy. 
and I ended up buying two or three classics uh, from Said Book Bank. George Eliot is my favorite author. I want to collect all of her books and I was looking for Felix Holt, The Radical, but it was super expensive online and the new editions by Oxford are almost 2000 rupees. So when I saw this edition of Wordsworth Classics for Felix Holt, which is old but basically new because no one has read from this edition so i just bought it immediately because it was only for 300 or 400 rupees i also got a copy of little women by louisa may elcott there were so many books at Said book bank which i wanted to get but i had to refrain myself i also got a copy of the phantom of the opera by gaston le Rox, i think i skipped barnaby raj i thought i'm going to buy another copy once i have read all the dickens which i already have on my shelf because i'm just collecting all of them and i haven't read any since i read hard times in december so i need to get my dickens speed on um i know those books take time but i want to read the books i already have by dickens before i get new ones they also had all the books by agatha christie there was a huge shelf dedicated to that and the fiction section was massive and it was divided in alphabetical orders there was a bookshelf which had all the books starting with the alphabet a and then this was the bookshelf which had all the books starting with the alphabet j so that's it i hope you all enjoyed shopping for books in islamabad with me i ended up getting so many things and i just had a blast that day so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i will see you all in my next video very very soon bye